Um, hello, my name is Aiden, and today we'll be doing the Peach Crack Me, um, which is just a simple little, hopefully easy crack me. I think it's um, difficulty level one, so it's basically just type in a name, uh, type in a serial number, and it'll say this if you get it wrong, and hopefully you can get the right um, answer or right, reverse it and figure out how it works so first let's just drag it let's drag it into here into Gidra uh, this everything looks right x64 or x86 and just click OK um, I'm gonna open it now and I would like to analyze it um, PDB, we don't have a PDB, so just analyze it. Give it a minute. All right, this is in the way, but it looks like we're good. So first thing that I want to look for is that if we open up this, we notice that it looks like it's made with the Win API. And we just need to find the function that pops up this window. This seems like an easy way to do it. You could search for the strings or maybe search for the serial number string. But I just want to find where it creates this window, which seems like the easiest way. Um, so to do that with the Win API, uh, it's it's the what's it? I actually don't remember. It's the message box. So if we're looking at the imports in the user32 DLL, it's the message box W, which uh, is responsible for creating that little window prompt that we saw. So what we can do here is find the references to this function. So just click on a random one. Um, and if we see here in the decompiler, uh, we notice that we'll see the string that we saw earlier with the bad boy with the title and the string contents. So this is what tells us that we got it incorrect. Oh, and then right here above it, we see the, the good boy. Let me pat you. So this is um showing that we did it correct. And that's what we're looking for. Um, and for what it decides is first it compares these two values that we don't know what they are. And these two values are assigned right here. One is uh, ATOI, which is a function that converts um, a string into an integer uh, and then here we have var2 which is some function that we don't know and then this stack variable and then here if we go up a little bit we're using get window uh, get window text which is used for getting the text off of a window so we could read like the, um, the username right here and or the name and the serial number and um, here we can see that we have it's assigning it to this uh, variable for the first one and for the second one it's crap I'm not sure what I just did but <laughs> it uh, it's getting this variable as well and we can see that right here this is the same thing here that is being converted into a string so <laughs> this is the string variable for the password or the key or whatever we're looking for and then above it this must be uh, the username passed into a function so let's see what this function is here um, so in the decompiled function we see wait, how come I need I want to see this in the assembly okay yeah, it's right here um, so, we have our function, and first we see that we're declaring a couple variables. Um, <coughs> right here, we're getting the length of some string. So this is the string. So this we're just going to call this um, username, since we know that that is what it is. And then here, we see that, so it's the string length of the username. So for some reason, it's getting the length of the username. So or the length of the username string. So string length 
and then here we're doing some sort of comparison here and then breaking if it's uh, true so if the string length is less than or equal to local 20 local 20 is 0 so this is just an index variable so just call it i for index and in here we have some local 1c something else and that is used in the return um, variable so we notice that it's local c is multiplied by this value and then added or kind of basically essentially subtracted negative 3000 and then divided by 2 and then subtracted um, the username casted to an integer so what we can do here is since we know that this is our uh, I don't even want to know um, or what to say for this this is our um, I don't know let's just call it user name stuff basically this is what it, it or I'm just gonna call it convert uh, name I don't know so this is the thing that compares the username with the password so if we can find out if we can emulate this we can create the password so let's just do that so here I'm gonna open up a Visual Studio project here on this side and here is our code that we're gonna essentially copy so first we need to have our username so I'm gonna make a, a, a char pointer or a, yeah char pointer username equals uh, Aiden, sure. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to cast this to a char pointer, and then put a bracket there. And then um, next, we want the int string length. We have int i, int. Uh, what do we want to call this file? We'll just call it return value. Uh, int return value. And then here we set return value equal to one, and or and then we set i equal to zero, and then while true, we get the string length. String length equals string or str len, and then our username. And we're going to need to cast this to an integer. Um, and now we need to do our comparison. If string length is less than or equal to uh, i, we want to break. Now we want to do return value plus plus equals username at i. And now we want to increment our index value. And then finally, we want to. I'm just going to copy this essentially, the return value. But since this isn't actually a return function, we just want to say int uh, pw for like password or something equals this. So, what we could do is we can uh, print or std c out pw std endo and this should print out our new password with so basically this is literally just emulating what's happening here so if we run this we it prints out this password right here and hopefully if we open up the crack me type in aiden and then this serial number, which were, is our password, uh, good boy, you're such a good boy. So, that means we got it correctly, and we did it without patching anything, and we click here, under the about section, we followed all the rules, no patching, we didn't brute force it, and we uh, made a keygen. So, there we go. And just to prove that this isn't just another thing, 
or that it wasn't some fluke or something, we can change this to test or something, and then we can build it. <coughs> Our key gen right here. Oops. Where is the? That's not the right one. <laughs> what have I done? I think I closed. Okay, so we copy this, which is the test. And if we open up this, paste in our new thing, it'll work. But if we see if we change it to something else, it doesn't work. So that's pretty cool, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, we did it. 